Hello and welcome. In this quick video, we're going to see a basic workflow from repository to deployed with Spacelift. We're going to deploy a simple AWS EC2 instance with all of the networking prerequisites using Terraform. Spacelift is going to manage all of the heavy lifting for us, and all we need to do is commit our code. So let's take a look. Here we are in the Stacks section of the Spacelift UI. A stack is the core component of Spacelift that essentially represents the state of a single environment. For instance, you may have a dev stack and a production stack, or even hundreds of stacks. Spacelift can scale with your needs. As you can see here, this stack is called Getting Started. Its latest status is finished. It is using Terraform 1.2.6. It is connected to the Saturn head slash AWS EC2 repository on the main branch. And then this is the last commit. Now, as you can see here, we have several tracked runs. Each tracked run represents a push or a merge to the tracked branch. In this case, that is the main branch. Now, there are also untracked runs, but we'll take a look at that soon. So let's go over to our repository here. As you can see, we've got some infrastructure as code, a very simple EC2 instance with some networking resources to go along with it. Let's head into main.tf. Then I'm going to switch to the dev branch. Now let's say a developer wants to change this instance type to a T2 large, but you have a policy in place that states that the instance type must be within the free tier, which includes T2 micro, but not T2 large. Let's see what happens. So if I edit this file, change this to a T2 large, I will then add a comment here to T2 large, just like so, and commit changes. So now I'm going to create a pull request. Create a new pull request. We're going to compare to the dev branch, and of course, as you can see, we have changed that instance type. Let's go ahead and create that pull request. Updated instance to t2.micro and create pull request. Now, once I've done that, I can head back into my stacks, take a look at my PRs. And as you can see, that PR has failed. If I click on it, you can see the reason is, is the instance type policy. Now, this policy, which is an open policy agent policy written in Rego, determined that a t2.micro is not acceptable. If we take a look in policies, you can see here we have an instance size policy that checks to make sure that the instance is a t2.micro. So if I head back over and let's remodify that code to be compliant, I'll open main.tf once again and edit that. t micro changed to t2.micro just like so commit changes I'll head back over to that pull request open space lift and as you can see it automatically starts planning again once it detects the new change as you can see, it is allowed. This is an untracked run. This run has not actually committed any infrastructure. All it has done is run a plan against the plan policy and check to make sure that everything is clear. Now you could automatically promote if you wanted to, but we don't want to do that. We want to follow a standard workflow and I'm going to merge this pull request. Confirm merge. And once we do that, that's going to create a tracked run. So if I head back to runs, you can see here, we have that merge ready to go. All right, as you can see, everything has passed the plan and the plan policy. It is now in an unconfirmed state. So we would like to confirm this to deploy our infrastructure. All right, and after a little time travel, you can see that the update was complete. Eight resources were added and everything is good to go. So you can head to the resources view, you can sort by stack, or by parent, or by provider, and you can see all of the resources 
and the metadata for what we just deployed. So that is a primer on how Spacelift works.